Hi and hello, I am Atina Pandian here. In this video, we are going to see one more part of the X-ray. This is the last session. We are see something about the X-ray tube and all. In this video, I am going to talk something about the X-ray machine. Especially in particular, one part I am going to talk to in deeper. Because um, after the X-ray tube construction, what we need to learn about is the X-ray tube is enclosed inside the panel. Okay, the enclosed over the panel and in that, the particular panel is composed of fully water and the crude oil because the x-ray tube is producing much amount of temperature so it should not be come out in outside so that is what the crude oil and the water will be filled over the panel inside the panel only the x-ray tube is fixed okay and then after the x-ray panel one more the small device is attached what is the device and what is the purpose of the particular device that is what we are going to see in this video. This particular part is called as collimator. So after the X-ray is produced, okay, after the X-ray is produced from the X-ray tube, it will be coming out from the panel and it reach collimator. So what is the purpose of collimator? We are going to see in this video. So today we are going to see the device called collimator. Actually, of course, the X-ray machine, it is composed of all the X-ray machine is composed of these particular four areas. One is X-ray tube. It is purposely helpful for producing X-ray. In the last video, we are seeing this, what is happening inside the X-ray tube. Okay. Those who are missed that video, you can, I will put it in the description of X-ray tube video. You can go and see and then watch this video. Then only you can able to understand very clearly. Okay. Once the X-ray tube producing X-ray, then the X-ray is coming to touch the collimator and then it is for the stand and then it is for the control panel. So all these parts we are going to see later on. Now I am going to explain you in detail about what is actually the collimator is. Okay. So the collimator, the diagrammatic explanation of the collimator is here. See, once the X-ray source producing, once the X-ray source is coming out of the X-ray panel okay, or the X-ray tube, it will attain some of the wide range of width. For example, if it is a small hole is there in a long tube, what is there is any leakage in the water uh, for the tube inside the tube the water is going on. Inside the in the particular tube is there is any small hole. What happened? Because of the pressure inside the water, the from the hole the water is spread over outside region. Like that, this particular tube panel, that is tube, have some of the small hole. From the small hole, the X-ray is coming out, coming out from the tube. That X-ray only reach to the patient. What is the purpose of collimator? Is we need to determine the width of the X-ray source. How far it need to spread? How far it we need we need to shortening the width? That is what we are purposely indulging the collimator next to the X-ray tube. Please understand, next to the X-ray tube, it is a collimator. So this particular collimator is purposely helpful for finalizing the witness of the X-ray source. How much amount of X-ray required? How would, what is the reason why we are controlling the witness? For example, the doctor need to take only the elbow region or the knee region or the wrist region for that the small amount of width is enough right for example the doctor is supposed to ask for the chest x-ray for the chest x-ray the width is very high right so during the time we need to adjust the collimator to increase the width of the x-ray source so because of that particular reason the collimator is placed next to the control the next to the x-ray tube if through this collimator we can adjust the width of the X-ray source. Okay, then how would adjust the uh, width of the X-ray source means that inside the collimator, the X-ray observer that is called leads, X-ray observer that is called leads actually. Okay, this particular lead having a capability to observe the radiation. See, lead of course, L E A D. Some of them they pronounce as lead. We we can able to call it as lead also. Okay, the lead. Uh, in the pencil you can see the lid right that is what it, it will be pasted over inside the collimator 
the lens having the res responsibility or the lens having the capability to absorb the X-ray source. So how much amount of space you are given through the space alone, the X-ray will be passed over. Apart from that, all the lead will be absorbed the radiation inside the collimator. This is what happened in the collimator region. Then according to the width, we can indulge into the patient's human body. Okay, so through this particular X-ray source, through this particular X-ray source, we can clearly imaging your internal organs. Okay, this is what the purpose of the collimator is. Okay, collimator, short form I can able to say, collimator is purposely used to determine the width of the X-ray source from the X-ray tube or X-ray panel. This is what I need to explain in this video. In the next video, in deep play, we are going to see about the types of collimator is what. There are different types of collimator. Each and every uh, companies, they are changing the collimator types and all. So what are the collimator types and how, what is the construction inside the collimator? All the things we are going to do in the next video. Thank you very much.